Hey, Rich. I'll let me tell you something. I have a Dharma friend who once told me, in a very serious manner, that we should not wear clothings in black, and not even cut my hair frequently. And I asked her why. So she said it would bring bad luck or bad omen. I was puzzled and tried to recall if the Buddha had ever taught it so. If that is true, then all the Chinese Buddhists would have to discard their dharma clothes, and those people in black uniform will be guaranteed bad luck. Oh yeah, I forgot what you wore last time. Uh, I still don't find my friend's advice sensible and logical. Although she is very into Buddhism, I love my friend, but I think she has misunderstood this. There are many folk beliefs that associate colors with situations in life, and it, in that manner, people tend to fear colors that are associated with loss.、Um, for example, black or white may represent death in certain culture. Naturally, people shun those colors because they, they believe that. Constant association with those colors might cause a feared situation to manifest in their life.、Um, but Buddha never teach us that. Instead, Buddha taught that unhappy situations are unavoidable in life. Life is suffering. No, no, but truth. Instead of fearing them, we should come to terms with them and learn how to be released from the pain. That is associated with those unpleasant situation, and she told you not to cut your hair to become Rapunzel. <laughs> She's not just pinpointing to me. I've heard her giving the same advice to others, so maybe everyone should be a Rapunzel. <laughs> well, just kidding. Speaking of cutting hairs, I have also heard of some people claiming to only cut hair. On certain dates, otherwise it will bring bad luck too. Yeah, I've heard from a monk, but then again, it does not sound like it was taught by the Buddha. Definitely not, because the Buddha shaved his head just like his monk, and I don't think the Buddha actually、uh, go around converting people into monkhood after checking a <laughs> magic calendar.、Um, so any claims that are associated with Good or bad luck is not what the Buddha taught. I guess they are likely to be cultural practices or beliefs. That sounds more likely, but of course, unless we take not cutting hair as a type of practice to train ourselves not to be obsessed by beauty and grooming, especially for those who are committed to an intensive retreat for mind training. That's right.、Um, But then again, they do not cut their hair because they are doing it for a virtuous action, a practice purpose, not because it will bring bad luck. So your friend's advice is not in line with such aspiration. I agree. So recently, ah,、uh, there's another Buddhist friend of mine who was concerned about bad luck incurring on him as his newborn had a diaper leak on him. So he was worried that the poop would bring. Bad luck. So did your friend also feel that that is part of the Buddhist belief? Yes, he was really worried. I'm sure if he calmed down and looked around, he would find it is really common for parents and caregivers to deal with diaper leaks. And if baby's poop or anyone's poop did bring bad luck, many many people, if not all, would have been having bad luck. Actually, what you just described is known as omen reading. People interpret minor and irrelevant events as potential indication of the future. For example, in the Western countries, people used to believe that a black cat crossing their path represents something bad is going to happen soon. And in ancient China, people encountering a monk or nun was considered extremely bad luck because. Uh, monks and nuns do not have families or assets.、Uh, what is unlucky in one culture may be the opposite in another. Well, so what we've just discussed are cultural beliefs instead of the Buddha's teachings. Mm-hmm.